Hello, this is Seth from ubot.org. That's u-bot.org. And I am demonstrating the ubot development studio software. And the way that this works is you get a web browser like seen here and you just click around on it and basically tell the bot what you want it to do. And we're going to create a quick MySpace script. All right. So the way this works, we're going to select an element and we're going to tell it how it wants how how we want it to find the element. And in this case, we're going to look for a piece of the HTML that happens to be the same in all of the profile elements. Okay. And what will happen when we do this is it's going to select all of the elements on the page that have this text in common, which means that it's going to collect all of the profile elements. All right, so once we do that, we're going to want to actually scrape these attributes. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create a list object. So we'll go to variable commands, add to list. We're going to create a new list. We're going to call it profile URLs. OK, and if we don't enter a value, then we will just get a blank space here. And that allows us to come in and select the URL we want. I'm sorry, the element we want. And we'll go to scrape chosen attribute. And we're going to select href because we want to select the URLs. And that's going to create a list with all of the URLs from the elements that we just selected. All right, now to demonstrate what we just did, we're going to create a new loop. And in this loop, all we're going to do is navigate to the URLs from our list that we created. All right, and that was profile URLs. Hit OK. OK. And let's go ahead and give this a run. Click the play button. All right, and as you can see, our bot is just one by one going to each one of these URLs. All right, so let's click stop. Now let's say that we want to go through all of these pages and we want to select, we want to scrape all of the people from all of these browse pages. So what we're going to do, we're going to create what's called a while loop. And what this does is it does what's in the loop as long as the qualifier is true. And in this case, we're going to create a search page qualifier. And what that means is that whenever the bot sees the word next on the page, it's going to keep doing the loop. All right, so what we want to put in this loop, let's insert a few blank lines, give us a little bit of room to work with. All right, so we're going to select the next link here, and then we're going to click on it. All right, now we can just click and drag our commands from earlier right into this loop. You know what I almost forgot? Anytime you click something, you need to make sure that you put in the wait finish command. And what that will do is make it so that it will wait for the next page to load until it continues with the commands. All right, so let's click play. Can I go to the next page? And on each of these pages that it's loading, it's scraping all of the profiles on there. 
and it's putting it into our list called profile URLs. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and give the script a name. We'll call it Profile Scraper. All right, and we'll create a new script. Let's call this one Friend Adder. All right, so let's keep it simple. We'll just go ahead and create a loop and we'll just go 10 times. Click OK. And insert some blank lines to work with here. Let's get rid of our command placeholder. So we're going to go ahead and navigate just like we did before. We're going to use the nav command and we're going to cycle through the entries in the in the list profile URLs, all those profiles that we scraped earlier. Alright. Let's hit play just so that it gets us to one of these pages so that we can actually have the page open for us to uh, decide what we need to do with it. Alright, so that's cute. We'll go ahead and choose the element that, uh, let's choose it by the href. And that's the URL that it will go to when we click it. And <clears throat> in the case of our friend add button, it's going to give us this long URL, and at the end of it, it says friend ID equals, and then it gives us the number of their friend ID. Uh, that's going to be different for every person, so what we want to do is we're going to use an asterisk, and we're going to make sure we select wildcards under search method, and that means that any time a URL looks like that, that's what it's going to choose our URL by. All right, let's add a few more spaces. And we're going to click on that. All right, now let's just give it a quick run to get to our next page. And you know what? We forgot to put in our wait finish command. So put in wait finish. Alright, play it again. Now it's going to click the button and wait for the next page to load. And whoops, okay, we'll just go back here. Perfect. And create a couple lines. We want to choose our Add to Friends button. Just do it by the text, and we're going to click on it. So we'll go to click chosen, and we'll never forget the wait finish. And we're ready to go, so we'll play this. And as you can see, we're just going to go through all of the URLs that we scraped earlier and it's going to automatically add all these people as friends. So as you can see, we made this bot. It's been a little bit less than 10 minutes at this point, and we created a MySpace profile scraper and the friend adder. The, the possibilities that you can, of bots that you can create with uBot are really limitless. And it's a very powerful tool. We hope to get it on sale very quickly. At this point, we're just kind of working out some of the kinks. So keep checking back at ubot.org, and we hope to see you very soon.